I'm a rock star, I'm a rage like real. I ain't taking L's and Madden all year. Yo, <laughs> what's good, YouTube? It's Rage Real. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to y'all about one of the best empty formations that you can run in the game. Now, before I get to this video, please go ahead and drop a like on the video right now. Go ahead and sub and turn those post notifications on. Now, before I do get into this video, um, one thing I do want to say is originally. I seen form run this scheme but I am gonna have a little bit of forms uh, ideals in this place but it's not form scheme so I just want to give credit where credit is due because I seen form running it and I said hey this actually looks like a pretty fire scheme let me see if I can put my head together and then give it to y'all and then also I also seen black rain um he was I seen a video uh, I don't remember it was a while back he was talking about it but he used quarterback draw and he got like 200 yards rush and I said dang is that play really that good so it was that and then also uh when I seen form kind of run a little bit so I said you know what let me go ahead and put two great minds together and let's actually three me form and um rain I was like let's put three great minds together and let's build a scheme out of this so in part one I'm only going to be touching on what to do against the blitz because that's where the big that's the biggest weakness of any empty formation is the blitz so I'll be talking about three four odd and I'm going to show you um two four five double a gap and then I'm also going to show you how to block um where is it uh this two three six wheel when they send the person off the edge I'm sure how to block that too so uh let's go ahead and get started right so for personnel wise um it honestly doesn't matter if you want to be honest um if you want you can have your two best players on uh this if they let me get it where 83 is and where uh 15 is you can have your two best players there and you want somebody that's really decent right here i would say so obviously your third best receiver will go right there so now the plays i'm gonna be talking about right here i'm gonna be talking about the quarterback draw and i'm be talking about this um where is it at this wide curl play and then I might, I'm going to touch on Divide Wheel too. Those are the three plays I'm going to go over just for the quick blitz. And then on part two, I'll cover some other plays that are really good. And it's going to be some of these are going to be the same plays for part two, but they're going to be really good also versus coverage. So anyways, for your audibles, you want to have Z spot, quarterback draw. You want to have verticals. And I like putting wide curl. Now, um, the play you want to come out in is this Divide Wheel. Now, let me show you uh, what to do if somebody comes out in three, four odd. And let's say like maybe... Pinch dog two press because they're probably going to try to blitz everybody or something. Now, what most people do, they'll go ahead and base a line most of the times. And they might just pinch their linebackers. And then they might just blitz them all like this, you know. Um, and they might use it this guy. So let me put it right here. Because if somebody, if they're decent, they're going to know that they can send six in uh, empty. So let me just leave it like this. Now, what I like to do versus 3-4 odd almost every time. Let me get on my lineman here. If I see 3-4 odd, I do one of two things. First, I'm audible to quarterback draw. Now, this draw is going to do really good. You don't really need to motion people if you don't want to. Now, you can kind of test that out and see. Um, sometimes some motions give you better blocks. I'm still trying to figure it out myself, to be honest with you. But it's something you can mess around with. So sometimes uh, they'll react different to how you do it. So right here, you see how I'm able to get about, I mean, five yards. But sometimes you get more yards. Now, let's do it one more time. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you gameplay so you can see that. You know, if somebody wants to get in three, four eye and blitz everybody, go ahead. You can make them pay real easily by just doing a simple quarterback draw and that'll eliminate most of the blitzes so let's do it this time without uh blitzing anybody i mean without uh moving nobody so you see we get decent blocks right there and a lot of times you could just get the edge and that's it Now the next front I want to show you is this two four five double A gap, and then also before I get into that, um, you want to use the Ravens or the Ravens, yeah, pretty much just the Ravens because why? Uh, Lamar Jackson is one of the best players in the game, and if you don't use his quarterback draw, this offense is, is still viable, it's still really good, but this just adds it adds another whole sprinkle to the whole offense. So what I like to do against this, I just ID this person, and you can run it just like this. Now as you see, I'm in mid blitz. So let's go ahead and snap the ball so I can show you. Now, yes, the cornerback went off, so I should have went to the left side. So let me run that again for you. Now, let's go ahead and uh, select quarterback draw like this. And you can see we still got it right here. Now, a lot of times you have to read it most of the time. So see, they block them on the left side. So now I can take this ball and go left. And look, there's just literally nobody out here. And that's the easy touchdown.
All right, so if for some reason, you know, quarterback draw is getting bagged for you or you don't want to run quarterback draw against what they're doing with the 245 double A gap mid blitz, any type of man blitz, I love this play divide wheel. And let me go ahead and show you why as soon as I pick mid blitz right here. All right, so in this play divide wheel, what you have is you got a, a wheel route on his left side and you have a wheel route by the running back. Now, normally I like to just block my running back like this and then what I you can leave it just like this now the first setup I like is to take a uh, boy right here put him on a streak and I take Roberts and I put him on a streak and now what I like to do I like to put um Marquise Brown or whoever you see right here is like this now for a second let me talk about personnel if you know you having a streak route I mean if you know you're running a wheel route you want to go ahead and put Marquise Brown where uh Snead is now I'm not going to do it but you need to make sure you do this so let me just go ahead and motion uh Marquise Brown because you're motion this guy right and now you got a simple one two read and for some reason um uh, they do not get a press animation when you motion them over like that so let me see if i can show you that real quick see i'm pressing and he's up there but he's not gonna be able to press him because even though it looks like he's on the line they still can't press him for whatever reason let me go ahead and show you now you see oh they actually did that time but normally they don't and you see you can still throw that now that may have been because i was talking a lot but uh let me show you that one more time let's go ahead and press but let me show you that one more time. So what you do, you just take R1, block them like this. So now you got six people blocking and they're only sending six out of this look. Uh, actually, I didn't mean to motion my tight end over there. Take Brown, motion them over, put them on a slant. And then a lot of times you can snap it too. You can get a little motion snap. And look, of course that streak, of course that wheel is gonna ban, burn man coverage. I can't talk today, y'all. All right, so I went ahead and switched uh, Sneed and uh, Marquise Brown. So now I'm just gonna press and do the same thing. So now we should get the separation we look for. Just block your uh, running back, streak both your receivers on the uh, right side, and then uh, motion your outside receiver over. Put them on a slant, and you can motion snap it if you want. Oh no, they actually don't let you, my bad. So like I said uh, before, the slant is gonna get wide open against man, and so you usually got to choose between a wheel route or the slant. Let me see if I can show you right here. Now they're doing a good job playing that, but I promise in the game I'm about to show you, uh, they're not gonna play it like that. All right, now if you want another man beater out of this same, um, pretty much another man beater. So what I like to do, I like to go to verticals right here. And then now um, you can do one or two things. You could just block your, uh, you could block your uh, running back right here, or you can motion them over, or you can motion X over. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go back to verticals, or you can motion X over and you can block X like this and it still be the same way. Now I like this setup, why? Because what I do, I'll streak my running back and then I'll re-slant um, Marquise Brown because I don't like the slant he's on originally. I feel like this one, uh, this one's a lot better than me. Now, this will kill it. This will kill man and kill zone because this wheel route on his uh, on this side right here will toast man coverage, as y'all know, and then this slant will toast man coverage. So your user's going to be stuck in the middle, and you just got to make the right read. Or you know, you can always slant uh, Ingram if you want to. Uh, drag him. Excuse me, I didn't mean to say slant. You could drag him, but personally, I'll just block him like this. So let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Now watch, uh, hopefully, see look, that's Seth Brown and he's not even a good receiver and he got that much separation. All right, let me show y'all one more time that it does in fact work. So let me go ahead and take a uh, tight end over, motion block him like this. And then you can either, you don't have to put R1 on a streak, but I would suggest putting them on a streak because technically, Okay, look, let me say it like this. R1 will beat man. So if you wanted to, you could just run double slants like this. And this is another setup you can do. So let me kind of show you what happened versus this right here. As you can see, he's gonna, uh, for some reason, like it glitches out the man and you'll be able to throw that over the top. As long as you have a decent running back, that'll always be an option. So let's say that your opponent wants to try to give you like a zone blitz look out of this. Let's say they do cover two, right, out of this. And most of the time they'll uh they will still blitz those uh linebackers so just for the purposes i'm gonna blitz them like this and because most of the time they'll try to do like a cover two blitz at you so let me show you what i like to do against like zone blitzes so if you feel like it's a zone i like to go to this wide curl play now i don't know why the linebacker just shot out there but we ain't gonna worry about that <laughs> 
but with Y curl when it's a when they're blitzing, I like to take R1 and streak them. So most of the time your user is gonna be on his right side. So what's gonna happen is this square route, this little switch route is gonna get wide open, and most of the time if they're blitzing that linebacker, you'll be able to throw it right in that seam, or you can throw R1, or you can wait and throw circle. You you will have enough time to throw circle. And I'm gonna show you all those. First, let's look at square. You see how he breaks right there? You can kind of get a rack animation and look at that. That's about 15, almost 20 yards. Now let's go through the same thing and I'm gonna show you uh, this other read. Now let's go ahead and blitz all our linebackers like this. Uh, let's go ahead and quarterback team. Most people probably will. Now let's go ahead to this Y curl. And then you put R1 on a streak like this. And now, like I said, we just I just showed you square will be wide open. Now let me show you circle that you can actually throw this. So you see you can throw that right there and you will have enough time. Like I said, look at this gameplay right here. Now, last thing I'm gonna show you in this video is let's go to vertical. So let's say they do a cover two blitz, right? So let's go ahead and go to cover two, and then let's go ahead and blitz our linebackers, and then contain like this. Now, what be, what's really nice about this play is that, like I said, we can do the same exact setup: motion, uh, tight end over, get a block. So now we got six blockers, and you can block seven in this. Just because I haven't, you still can't watch. All I have to do is take R1, and I can block them. Now I have seven people blocked, but I don't really suggest this because most people won't blitz seven at you. Uh, it's just not a smart thing to do when you're facing empty, but if they are, that's how you do it. You just motion your tight end over and you can block your running back. So that's a good way right there. Now, anyways, you can run it just like this and then watch what happens in cover two. So what I like to do since they're blitzing six, um, a lot of times you still be able to roll out the pocket because they're, let me show you. I'll just, let me just show you what I'm talking about. You can kind of split it right there and then you could throw that just like that. All right, I said it wasn't going to be my last thing I was going to tell y'all, but I know some of y'all in the comments are going to ask me how can I get out the pocket if they're blitzing six at me. So let me go ahead and show you. This is this is how you get out the pocket when they're blitzing six at you. So uh, let's go ahead and motion them over still the same way. It's really simple. Um, you just find their outside linebacker, and you just double team them like this. Or if the outside linebacker is way wide, then you should still be able to uh, double team them. And then a lot of times what I like to do, I like to just ID right here. So a lot of times this will allow somebody on his left side to come free which that's what we want because we want to run away from the person so let me see if i can show you right here now that time they didn't get him but normally they do and most of the time that will be a slower person and lamar jackson can outrun just about any lineman in the league so that's gonna wrap it up for part one on part two i'm gonna show y'all uh how to destroy cover three and cover two and if they play like any type of match coverages and i'm show you how to destroy man because this is honestly a really great offense to run but uh be on the lookout for part two but anyways that's gonna wrap it up for this video i appreciate all y'all who are here watching and sub to me i hope y'all have a blessed day i'm rage rail and i'm out